Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Welcome to the very last event organ recital in our 2017-2018 season, the 10th anniversary season of Wednesdays in Wiedemann. This is the 12th event, and that's a lot to prepare and sustain throughout the year with the distinguished guest artists, the Wednesdays in Wiedemann, eight of those three distinguished guest artists, and the Organ Day. So you have been a great part of this. Thank you for being so faithful to this series. Today we have a great program as the organ pops. And it's not Wednesdays in Wiedemann, but Wednesdays in Wiedemann, because we have the best, some of the best wind and brass instruments around here at the school. We have saxophone, horn, not limited by, there, there are others, but the ones we have today are saxophone, horn, trumpet, and not to forget the supreme wind instrument, the organ. And today the organ gets to do its other job of being a collaborative instrument playing with other instruments, which include a lot of different ones, voice, uh, violin, it, it, lots, choirs, lots of different things. But today, it's the winds and the brass that have the honor. As usual, I will open and close with the organ as a solo instrument. And the opening piece today is one you've probably heard before. It's the toccata from the fantasy pieces, the pièce de fantaisie, by Louis Vierne. As you know, Louis Vierne was the organist, blind organist, of the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. And this toccata in B flat minor, that's a lot of flats, is a, a very angry, ferocious piece. Uh, that just barrels through from the beginning to the end, and it's the only piece that Vierne entitled Toccata. So Toccata from the Pièce de Fantaisie by Louis Vierne.
don't have to warm up. Now it's all done. <laughs> It's a great pleasure to host Jeffrey Dibel, saxophone professor and head of jazz, their jazz program here. And it is his last performance here at WSU because he is sadly leaving us to go to Florida State University. I have enjoyed collaborating with him over the years he's been here, and we've done several different pieces, quite different, here in the Wednesday Wiedemann's concert. Today, we are performing a piece written for organ and saxophone by um, Enjot Schneider. And this is a pavan, uh, the origin of this word is from pavo, peacock, uh, Spanish Latin, and it's the characteristic cry of the bird that is heard from time to time in this variations on the old tune Catalan composer and viola player Luis de Milan, who was one of the major composers of the Spanish Renaissance. So. Uh, you will certainly hear the cry of the peacock in the saxophone. Uh, the organ has it too, but it doesn't do as well as the saxophone. So here we've got two wind instruments, the organ, the bellows are over in that chamber right over there, and then the great Jeffrey Dybel.
That has to be peacock blue if there ever was one, don't you think? That's very appropriate. And now we have French horn. I've really enjoyed uh, performing with uh, Stephanie Nelson. She is a master's student just getting her degree. She's going to be graduating master's in horn performance. And we did this piece already on her master's recital. It's a piece written by Craig Phillips, a, co a colleague uh, of mine in uh, California. And um, it really is, everything he does is great. I think there's a, there's a brass quintet as well that, with, for organ and brass quintet that we might try next year. But um, Stephanie has been wonderful to participate in this Pops concert. So please welcome Stephanie Nelson.
I've never played with horn before, and I think this is the beginning of something that's lovely to hear in, the, in, in this, this hall. And now we come to the trumpet. There are many things, uh, or duets for organ and trumpet. It's a very popular combination. And this is uh, not, you won't be disappointed by this. Kisto Stotz is a also a master's candidate in conducting. He's been taking trumpet and organ lessons and has been the director of the band. Uh, gone all over the country with the basketball team, so that was, that was quite well, wonderful. We played this piece by Vincent Persichetti on his master's recital in, in um, February, and we have the pleasure of playing it for you tonight. It's a dramatic piece by Vincent Persichetti, The Hollow Men, and you have on the back of your program an extract of the poem by T.S. Eliot, uh, what this is all about. The hollow men were the stuffed men learning together, headpiece filled with straw. Alas, our dried voices when we whisper together are quiet and meaningless, etc. And this is about especially World War I and about hopelessness and man's need for redemption. It's a very um, dramatic poem and set beautifully to music. This is a, the quote at the very end is something that I've heard before and you probably have too. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. Please welcome Kisto Stotz.
Now, for a change of pace, this is a very surprising piece. Of course, it's been transcribed, but this is by Francis Poulenc. This is not what you'd expect from Francis Poulenc. It's from uh, an opera of his called The Discours du Général. It's the speech of the general from Les Mariés de la Tour Eiffel, the, the, wedding, the, the wedding couple from the Eiffel Tower. And this is the Eiffel Tower polka. I'm announcing it to you, so it won't be a surprise, but it's still, it's, it is a surprise. And to help in this organ version with two trumpets, I'm pleased to introduce Sam Netvig. And now to end this concert with a solo work by, for organ, by Jean Alain, the litanies. And you have the definition of what a litany is. It's a resonant or repetitive chant, of course, as many of you know. Um, and that's what this is. Jean Alain died much too soon at the age of 28, but he wrote this piece probably in the train, and then you, you can hear this da 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 in the, the rhythm of the music. And to uh, reflect on this repetitive over and over chant, Jean Alain writes the following as a preface to this piece. When the Christian soul no longer finds words, finds new words in its distress, to implore God's mercy, it repeats ceaselessly and endlessly and with a vehement faith, the same, the same invocation. Reason has reached, reached its limit alone. Faith continues its ascent. And it really barrels to a conclusion that is really without limits. It will surprise you. It's a very dramatic chord. And that's the end of the piece. Thank you very much for being here for this 10th annual Organ Pops concert. And I hope we'll have a very good season next year and hope to see you then. Litanie by Jean Alain. <laughs>